Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to Pure Rock Crawling for the first time in a very long time. This game is very, 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 very cool and it's kind of one of those weird indie games that definitely has a lot of, uh, a lot of cool quirks to it. I almost said quirks and features, but that, that's, that, that's... Doug's line. That's not my line. But anyways, we're going to try out their new winter update. They've got a brand new map and there's actually, they've kind of reworked the menu a little bit too. Um, they give you a full rundown of the update, like update stuff here. Um, suspension stiffness no longer affects ride height, three stars achievement fix, new stuff on the winter map and improved lighting on the winter map. Now, this is very interesting to me because we're going to go ahead and kind of probably mess with something a little bit before we... Eh, should we have the... Yeah, let's have the Toyota. And then tuning... Oh, God. My ride height is like... Oh, I see you have to click. It was like all the way out there, but... That's 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 the max that they'll let you... That they'll let you do to it. So in the wheel offset... Oh, it's very minor. Oh, wow, it's extremely minor. So I'll just max it out then, and then tune it. No, wait, we already did that. Customization? Anything in here? I mean, we only have like 140 credits, so we're really more so just going to have to go and drive, which there's nothing wrong with that, but let's see. Should we do free roam first and then try to run through the map itself, or should we try to like just run through the map? Let's, let's just go for it. Winter test map. Let's just go with it. Now, this map is very, very... Wait. I think this might be free roam. Yeah, this is free roam. Probably because it, it is just a test map as it sits. So, as you can see right off the bat, the snow forms around the tires in a very, very cool way. It's a very... Um, it's it's kind of a very, you know, spin tires deformation style way. Um, it's just not quite as deep. Now, I don't know if the depth of the snow will actually increase the farther out we get into the map. I hope it will, but we have yet to find out, and the only way to find find out whether or not it increases in depth is to actually just explore. Eh, that's going to be a little bit much for this little Toyota, I think. It looks like the depth of the snow is pretty universal. However, I do really like the fact that you see little sticks and, and blades of grass poking through the snow as you drive through it. That is really, really cool. And I like how they've coated the trees in the snow. I think they, like, I think the visuals actually look really, really good, especially the visuals on the vehicle. Um, the reflections look really good. The glass looks good. And I think they've got a, they've done a really good job with it. They really have. And every time I play this game, it seems like they've changed one little thing here or one little thing there and made it just a little bit better uh, than it was the last time I played it. Now, to be fair, I don't I don't play this game super, super often, so I'm not, like, always, you know, I'm not, like, always on it, you know, to try to, like, figure out what's been changed. But, ooh. Oh, this will be an interesting look at... Okay. So you can really feel the grip change. You really, really can feel the grip change once you get out of the snow. Like, because I was sliding around a lot before we, um, before we ended up getting onto this dirt. But, but, like, once we got on the dirt, I noticed a big change in grip. So it actually affects the, uh, affects the truck a lot more than you might think. Diff got caught on a rock there. You really have to watch that with this game because it is meant to be a realistic simulation. It's not meant to be just like a bomb through everything and uh, and you're good to go type game. I mean, this is definitely something where if you don't take your line seriously, you're really going to have to, you know, face the consequences at some point. Now, let me see. Hmm. Let me see where this goes. I'm really curious now because this is the first trail that I've found on this map. Ooh. Some say it stops. I say I'm going to keep going. Oh, well, the snow says I'm not going to keep going. That is so slick. That is so slick up there, dude. Like, look, you just get in the snow, and the whole thing, the whole thing starts sliding. No matter how much I turn right, it is sliding left and right into a tree. I wonder if that's the edge of the map. It might be the edge of the map. <laughs> it very well could be. It's a pretty map, though. Like, everything looks nice. And again, that's the biggest thing is, like, a game like this, a game like this could, if it got bigger, could force Mudrunner and the whole Spin Tires series to up its visual game. 
You know what I mean? Like to up the visuals game with with that whole series because I'm telling you, this game is really kind of uh, it, it. If it got bigger, I feel like it would put uh, it would put the whole Spit Tires franchise on notice and kind of force them a little bit to uh, to up their game in terms of visuals because the visuals of this game, in my opinion, are quite good. They look good, especially compared to Spin Tires in general. They have a really uh, a really bright look, and I know that th I know that that bright look is not really what they were going for with Spin Tires anyway. They were going for a darker look, but at the end of the day, this game, even though there's not much going on in the world, ah, that's bad. Can we fix it? Oh, we might be able to. Oh, oh, we might be able to fix it. I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt. Ooh. There we go. Only problem is we're going to definitely have to restart that hill. But anyways, I think what would what would really help spin tires like in all of those games like well Mud Runner now, but what would really help those games would be to take a little bit of inspiration from not necessarily how bright the maps are, uh, not necessarily even the maps, but how bright the visuals are in this game in general, but take inspiration from the fact that even though there's literally nothing in this current game world right now besides me and this truck it still feels alive it feels alive because of the visuals and now i don't know how alive it would feel after spending like an hour in here but it would it, it's still like as of right now i mean this definitely feels like a living world it feels like a vibrant world and it feels like a world that i want to explore whereas the the worlds and spin tires they don't look bad they don't feel bad to play but they could use more life and i feel like the visuals of this game really show that you can you can give an off-road game that life really really easily it's like amp well not necessarily really easily but they, they show that it can be done even when you know you're developing it on from somewhat of an indie standpoint because that's where this game came from this was a indie game and it's very very cool to see something like this continue to implement new features and continue to expand the scope of what it wants to be and because i didn't think they were going to throw snow into this game I, I i actually didn't know i mean it actually the snow i found out later on the snow came out actually a decent bit ago but it was one of those things that you know i was like wow i had no clue this even happened Maybe there's a lot of other people out there that may have played this game a long time ago and then just kind of put it away like I did and didn't realize that there was snow now. So it, it's really cool to see these things. I don't think, ouch, that sounded like it hurt. Don't think I've explored this trail, but it, to be honest, it doesn't look like it goes much of anywhere. It goes into a hole, which doesn't really seem to pose much of a threat to our Toyota. Oh! Under construction. Got it. Let's see. Is this too steep for us? Oh, it's getting there. It's getting to it. Yeah, it's getting to be too steep. We're going to have to turn around. Otherwise, we're going to slide down into the under construction barrier. And that will not be fun. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Let's head back towards the other side of the map and see if we can find any other rocks to climb on. And, ooh, that's interesting. When you put half the truck in the snow and the other half on the dirt, you get this weird mixture of, like, grip and slip that you don't really get from any other, like, any other off-roading game. I like it. You've got this frozen lake out here with that you really slide around on. Wow, okay, on the ice, I slide around all over the place. Look at that. Oh, dude, I am sliding everywhere. That was, I was even on the brakes there at the end. Like, that was a lot more sliding than any other environment type I've ever faced in uh, in this game. Ooh, there we go. These are really cool. They definitely lend themselves to pre more precision driving. And it's an interesting way to get across the snow. It would be really cool if, like, you know, you had these positioned on a hill... And you had to climb up these instead of climbing up the hill itself because, you know, because maybe you couldn't get up the hill because of how incredibly, you know, how incredibly slick it was. But, oh, we got some more rocks over here. Come on. Uh-oh. 
Oh boy. <laughs> Started to not want to, and then it was like, no, bro, I got this. Don't worry about it. Ease it on up that hill. It still works well. I mean, like, but I love how you could feel the changes in the terrain happening underneath your tires. You can feel when the snow gets slick. You can feel when the ice is, like, when the ice is underneath you. You can feel when, like, half the truck transfers from dirt to snow or snow back to dirt. It's a really cool, it's a, like a collection of really cool feelings put into a game. And I would love to see this game go to a bigger scale because they really are trying to put some uh, put some exciting stuff in here and and honestly like they've got some things here in this game in this really small you know really small game that the spin tires series has never even bothered to implement you know what I mean and I'm not you know saying anything bad about that series but they've got stuff here that you know they like I said they never really even I guess bothered to put the put some of those things in spin tires so they, oh, there we go. Yeah, there, uh-oh. Uh, we're good. No, we're not. Oh, well, that doesn't do us much good. On, off. Ooh, there's my low range. Uh, let's see. Low, high. I need to restart. Well, not necessarily restart, but reset. What about behind us? I'm sure there's stuff back over here that we haven't seen. In fact, I know there's stuff back over here that we haven't seen. God, already, like, it goes to... It goes right down to zero grip in, like, no time at all. Bet you we can get up this. Come on, little Toyota! Come on! Mm, there it is! I want to find out where this goes. See, that one tire being in the dirt just helps us out so much. Even though all three of our other tires are in the snow, having that one in the dirt just helped us out a ton. I don't know where that... Wait, I think that's the one we've already taken. This is more the one that I don't know where it goes. This just kind of winds around seemingly aimlessly. It, ooh. Looks like we got a hill over here, though. This looks fun. Oh, this looks like a blast. Especially since you have to attack it at an angle. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. That, that, like, it looked like, it looked like there was a lot more to it from a long ways off. And when we got to it, it was just like, yeah, no big deal. Still a very pretty map. Although I doubt that this... Like, green grass would be there. I mean, in the middle of winter. It's kind of one of those, really? You, uh, you serious about that? Yeah, you sure about that, boys? I can't help but think that we've gone this way before. Yeah, I can't help but think that we've gone this way before. But, dude, this is a really, really cool map and a really cool idea. And I really, really dig it. And this game definitely deserves a revisit if you haven't looked at it in a long time. So... That has been Pure Rock Crawling with the new snow map. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you click that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you all later.